Hey, Doc. Doc. The OVC is coming up, man. So how does that make you feel? <sighs> Shoot, let me tell you, Doc. I mean, the OVC is just such a tough conference. So many good coaches and good players. And I just don't know if these guys understand the magnitude of what it's going to take to deserve to win each game. I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right? Doc. Doc, are you listening? Oh, sorry, coach. Well, we have a double header. This is part two of our two-for-one basketball special, and it involves the same two teams, Tennessee State and Eastern Illinois getting set to do battle at the Gentry Center, kicking off OVC play in what Coach Brian Collins calls the second season. Coming in at seven and five on the season. While the Tigers come in at eight and five. Time now for our series history. Presented by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. Partner with us to protect Kentucky's wildlife heritage. And it is a series that has TSU leading 30 to 24. Last time these two teams met was on February 23rd, 2019. Tennessee State won by a score of 75 to 60. Time now for our starting lineups and the projected starters for Eastern Illinois. This is presented by Jostens. Jostens, the official recognition company of the OBC. And Max Smith, the guard, 6'2", 185 pound junior out of Indianapolis, Indiana. The other guard spot, spot Marvin Johnson, a 6'6", 190 pound junior out of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Josiah Wallace, a 6'4", 185 pound junior out of Marshall, Illinois. Jaqualis Matlock, a 6'5 forward. He's a senior out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. And George Dixon, a 6'5 junior forward out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For TSU, we have Mark Freeman, a freshman guard out of Memphis, Tennessee. Michael Littlejohn, a senior guard out of Muskegon, Michigan. Carlos Marshall, Jr., a sophomore guard out of Memphis, Tennessee. Wesley Harris, a 6'9", grad transfer out of Jackson, Mississippi. And Shaquem Johnson, a 6'7", forward. He's a junior out of Youngstown, Ohio. talking to Brian Collins at practice on Monday, revealing that a couple of players were dealing with an illness, and one in particular will not play today, and that is Ben Kone out with an illness. Panthers are coached by Jay Spoonhauer. He's in his eighth year as the coach of the Panthers. 
retired in 2012. In his eighth season at the helm, this team averaging about 39 and a half rebounds per game. Shooting 34% from the field and just a little over 70% from the free throw line. Let's go to the court and listen to the introduction to the Eastern Illinois starting lineups. Let's go by the numbers. Tennessee State and Eastern Illinois getting ready to go. Eastern Illinois averaging about 78 points per game to TSU's 75. So scoring is going to be a big thing. Both teams shooting about 34% from the free, from the from long range while they're allowing just under 32% each. And off we go. Charles saves it, and here come the Panthers. Dixon working around, there's Wallace. Dixon. Charles in the corner. No, that's that's a big three. Jaqualis Matlock gets things underway with the three ball. Freeman. Marshall. Driving and scoring. Carlos Marshall. And the fans hit their seats after TSU's first bucket of the game. Max Smith, no, Dixon. Wallace, working it back to Smith. He puts up a three. That's, that's good. Max Smith with a three. Two quick threes for the Panthers. They're up six to two. 
and the resulting pass down court goes off the hands of the Panther and TSU will retain possession. So Freeman inbound finds Little John. Goes cross court to Marshall. Marshall puts up a three. That's no good. And they're going to call a foul. Wesley Harris called for the loose ball foul. So the Panthers maintain possession. Talking to some of the Panther coaches before the game, talking about rebounding is going to be a big key for the Panthers if they want to come out of Gentry Center with a win. Having to control the length and athleticism of the Tigers roster. Wallace with the miss and the Tigers coming forward. Here's Mark Freeman, one-handed floater is good. Mark Freeman gets on the board and it's six to four. Matlock. There's Charles. Slightly altered, but he gets his own re gets his rebound. Wallace, seven on the shot clock. Wallace tries to drive and he's stripped. Five on the shot clock as Wallace will inbound. He finds Dixon, three on the shot clock. Defended by Johnson. In and out, and Harris comes up with the rebound. Freeman. Works it back to Harris, he puts up a three. That's no good off the front iron. Dixon comes down with the rebound. Wallace will drive. They're waiting for a signal. Noah Fowles called. <laughs> Foul called on Michael Littlejohn. Josiah Wallace. Wallace at the line for two. He's an 82% free throw shooter on the season. It's good. Wallace averaging nine points, about four rebounds and two assists per game for the Panthers. Wallace's free throw attempt is no good. It goes in the air, and Wallace comes up with his own rebound. Smith to Dixon, working it around. Three ball up, three ball good. Max Smith, 10 to four, Eastern Illinois. Harris loses the ball and it's tied up. Jump ball, possession arrow goes to TSU. Freeman, Jalen Washington in the game now for the Tigers. Finding Harris too easy at the at the end of the other end. Panthers. There's Smith. Going down. Three ball away. In and out. Smith comes up with the rebound.
Wallace, no. Three ball. Good. Jaqualis Matlock. A 40% free three-point shooter. And Eastern Illinois is lighting it up from long range. 13 to 6 now. And a foul. And then Matlock quickly called for the foul on the other end. That is his first. Washington. Standing on the side looking to inbound. Finds Little John. Little John working on Smith. He'll drive no to kick out to Harris. Harris for three. That's good. Wesley Harris knocks down a three and suddenly the lead is four. Skipper Brown, the pass too hot to handle. Timeout on the floor. Your score, 13 to nine, Eastern Illinois. You're watching college basketball right here on ESPN Plus. Hey, Doc. Doc, the OVC is coming up, man. So how does that make you feel? <sighs> Shoot, let me tell you, Doc. I mean, the OVC is just such a tough conference. So many good coaches and good... Your smile power with Delta Dental of Tennessee. Talk to your employer or visit CoverYourMouth.com today to learn more. 13-9 TSU in an early hole. Little John, there's John Brown. Right-handed hook shot is good. John Brown with his first bucket of the game. And they fall asleep on defense as Skipper Brown, and then they take it away. Here's Little John running, full speed. Here's Buddha driving, and he doesn't get the bucket. But he will go to the line for two. The tempo increased. Emmanuel Egbuta now at the line for two. First shot is good. Egbuta played his first two seasons at Navarro Community College. He was the leading scorer and rebounder among all the returners for TSE last year. And he gets both free throws to fall and this game is tied. Smith trying to work across. Gets it across, around the horn pass, Skipper Brown. Johnson, Smith back in the corner, finding Wallace. Tries to work his way right around there, Johnson. Johnson drives, no. Inside to Skipper Brown, that shot's no good. Harris with the rebound. Harris, no, loses him, can't hit it, but Washington with the rebound. My goodness, had him on skates. Here's Brown, trying to go between the legs. He finds Little John, he'll put up a three. Yes, Michael Little John for three. TSU takes the lead. The intensity has picked up very quickly. Wallace trying to work on Brown. He puts it up, and it's a charge. What an effort by the TSU defense, and now some substitutions made.
Little John bringing it up the floor for TSU. There's Johnson. What a trying to go to the cup, and Johnson is fouled, and he will go to the line for two. Foul on Jordan Skipper Brown of Eastern Illinois. Shaquem Johnson hits the first free throw. Johnson, the junior out of Youngstown, Ohio, averaging nine points and about three rebounds per game. Knocks down the second, and here we go. Suddenly, it's a five-point TSU lead. Looking around, there's Wallace. Matt Smith. Long three for Smith. No good. Harris comes down with the board. Marshall. Working no, nice spin move. No. He'll pull up, no good. Smith is fouled by Marshall. Tried to poke it loose from behind. He's not gonna get it that time. So a foul call. Wallace inbounds, there's Marvin Johnson. Inside and a foul. Foul called on Egbuta. That's his first. Matt Locke finds Wallace on the wing. Dixon at the top of the key, fakes like no. Pulls out, there's Johnson. Johnson drives. No good, the tip no good, and a foul. So, hey, Buta calls for the foul. Picks up two quick fouls. And George Dixon now at the line. Dixon, a solidly built guard at 6'5", 230 pounds. The junior out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, up for his second free throw attempt. That's no good, and Freeman chases down the rebound. Tigers lead by four. Freeman. Directing traffic now. Looking to get around the screen and does. Freeman with some room. Throwing it up. Johnson comes down with it. And he's fouled on the attempt. Johnson still down. He's up. So he took a nasty hit. The two free throws coming for Shaquem Johnson. TSU leads by four. First one is good for Shaquem Johnson. Hey, hey, hey. 
Second free throw good for Johnson. It's a six point lead. Wallace. He looks like they wanted to travel, but they did not get it. Shaw. Smith for three. That shot is altered, and Freeman pulls down the rebound. Little John finding Marshall in the corner. That's good. Carlos Marshall for three. Time out. Eastern Illinois. A full timeout, it looks like. Back on the floor at the Gentry Center. And the inbound by Eastern Illinois. And they have trapped and they break it. Here's Dixon getting across. Now they're setting up the offense. Dondre Duffus. Smith to Wallace. Pull it back. No good. Johnson comes down with the board. Freeman. Marshall, down low to Johnson. Kicked it out to Little John for three. That's money. Michael Little John knocking down the three. And it's a 12 point TSU lead. Shaw tries to get it down low to Dixon. Great position by Johnson. They'll pull it back to Duffus. He will drive. Smack Smith in and out. Johnson comes down with the board. TSU's length and athleticism really bothering Eastern Illinois in the early going. Freeman kicks it out to Harris for three. That's no good. Duffus with the board. Duffus working. Dixon tries. He loses the handle, and Little John comes up with the ball. Freeman. Marshall working his way around. Here's Harris. Corner to Little John again. Another three for Michael Little John. His third three of the half. TSU up big. Duffus tries to drive and he's stripped. But TSU unable to get the handle. Washington in the game. The inbound Smith. Going inside Dixon. Dixon, baby hook, and it's good. Stopping the run. It's 29 to 16 at TSU. Freeman finds Little John. He's had the hot hand. He's got three threes and a half. Washington loses the ball, but it's knocked out of bounds by TSU. The Freeman inbounds to Washington. Hands it back to Freeman, they can and they'll set up the offense again. Ten on the shot clock. Freeman working on Smith. 
Cross court to John Brown. He puts up a three. That's no good. Rebound Moody, and that's good. The putback. Ravel Moody. Making it happen. Drives no. TSU ball. A spirited effort on the defensive end by TSU. So here's Freeman walking it up the floor. Washington. Washington drives, kicks to Brown. What a pass, but it's intercepted by Dixon. Here comes Eastern Illinois. Smith trying to drive, no. Kicks it out, Johnson. And a travel. Great defense by TSU forcing Johnson to pick up the dribble. A little less than eight and a half to go in the quarter. Harris. Worked on by Smith. Moody. Kick ball. Sort of came off the left, came off the right thigh of Matt Smith. So Freeman working. Brown drives. And a charge is the call. They call a charge on John Brown as he took it to the cup. No basket. Nevertheless, TSU leads 31 to 16. Here's Dixon on the wing. Working on Johnson, he drives, he goes strong, it's no good. The rebound loose and Freeman picks it up. Going inside, Johnson picks it up, baby hook no good. Wallace comes down with the board. Wallace drives, and he's fouled. So he'll go for two. Timeout on the floor. 31-16, TSU in front. You're watching OVC basketball right here on ESPN+. Plus. With Delta Dental of Tennessee. Talk to your employer or visit CoverYourMouth.com today to learn more. Back on the floor here at Gentry Center. Coach Brian Collins has always said that the goal is to win an OVC championship. And the Tigers are hoping that this is their first step towards a conference championship. And the early returns are very good. Very good. Wallace hits both free throws. And it's 31 to 18. Moody to Freeman. Working. 15 on the shot clock. Freeman directing traffic. Marshall. Back to Freeman. Inside to Harris. He tried the backdoor cut to Moody, but he couldn't handle it. And it is a turnover by TSU. Yeah. 
Wallace walking it up the floor. He'll drive, no. He'll drive and then go baseline, tries to go up and under and it works. Josiah Wallace. Harris going coast to coast, but that doesn't work. Matt Lott comes down with the board. Wallace nearly falls, working, trying to go, but the tip is good. Time out, TSU. A 6 nothing run by Eastern Illinois has cut this lead to nine. We're at six and a half left in the first half. Tigers will take the ball. Little John to Freeman. And get it across midcourt. Freeman finding Little John. Going down low to Johnson. Cross court to Marshall. And then he goes left to Harris. Harris puts up a shot that's no good off the front iron. Matt Lott comes down with the rebound. Here's Wallace driving. Cut off by Harris. Smith goes inside to Matt Lott. Harris working on him. No, he goes out to Smith. Wallace on the wing. Nearly got him to jump. Kick ball. So Matlock, Charles, and a foul is called. Shaquem Johnson called for the foul, and it looks like it's a one and one opportunity for T for Eastern Illinois. George Dixon going to the line. He's a 70% free throw shooter on the year. No good. With the effort, and TSU will maintain possession after the loose ball goes out of bounds. Freeman, under five and a half to go in the half. Harris at the top, going inside. Nearly a loose ball, but TSU will maintain possession last touch by Eastern Illinois. Last time an Eastern Illinois player made five or more three-pointers was Max Smith just a couple of weeks ago at Milwaukee. Freeman finding Marshall in the corner. That's the found the bottom of the net. Carlos Marshall. With the bucket, stops the bleeding. Wallace 
finding Johnson. Going back out to Smith. Max Smith. Kayshawn Charles. Johnson loses the ball but regains it. Max Smith, five on the shot clock. Or Sharif Smith, excuse me. Johnson in the corner, three ball. In and out, rebound, Freeman. Freeman varying his speed and decides to go around him. Goes up, shot no good. Rebound chased down by Sharif Smith. Here he drives. Underneath to Dixon. Shot altered and they called a foul. Judging by the reaction on the bench, specifically from Ben Kone, they didn't think it was a foul. So Dick snapped the line, and he misses the first. Second free throw attempt is good. So here's Jalen Washington going inside the Little John. Little John working his way across court. Four minutes left in the opening half. Marshall. Pass deflected out of bounds by Duffus. Timeout on the floor. 34-23 TSU in front. You are watching OVC basketball right here on the SP show like you've never tasted before. All for just $1 each. Back on the floor at Gentry Center. 34-23, TSU with the lead. A foul call, then the ball will go over to Eastern Illinois. Foul called on Michael Littlejohn. That's his second. Johnson loses the ball but regains it. Working on Harris. Knocks back to Duffus. Duffus drives. That's no good. Washington with the board. Littlejohn pushing. Throwing it up. Almost had it to Marshall, but the ball ended up underneath the basket, and here come the Panthers. Nice move. That's no good. Harris comes down with the rebound. Knocks him down. Here's Harris coming in. Kicked out to Marshall for three. That's no good. Dixon flies in for the board. Wallace. Death ball handling on the baseline. And a travel by Duffus. Sixth turnover for Eastern Illinois. And we have a stoppage on the on the court. Oh, 
Stopping for a substitution. Wesley Harris coming off the court. TSU in front. Egbuta back on the court. He thought he lost the ball, but he didn't. And here's Egbuta driving and getting fouled. So Emmanuel Egbuta going to the line. Caleb George Dixon, excuse me. Two for two. Nice three for three from the free throw line. Harris back in the game. Harris offers a different kind of versatility, a 6'9 guard who can take you down in the post and take you off the bounce. And he's athletic. Athletic and can knock down big time threes. Both free throws go down, it's 35 to 24. Dondre Duffus trying to fight the screen, no. Smith, down low to Dixon. Puts it up, good. George Dixon. 10 point lead, under two to go. Freeman. Takes the pass. I pass to Harris. Off the glass and good. Wesley Harris knocking down the shot from close range. Duffus. There's Johnson driving on Marshall, putting it up. Trying to go off glass, doesn't work. Here's Egbuda finding John Brown. That's a two-handed throwdown. John Brown. Smith to Wallace on the wing. TSU been turning defense into offense. The ball nearly poked away again. Here's Duffus driving. He loses the ball, but a foul was called. Egbuta called for the foul again. His third of the half. <laughs> Duffus free throw attempt, no good. Duffus just eight of 16 from the free throw line this year. Second one is good. Marshall gets it across. Driving, no, kicks to Harris, he fakes. Under a minute to go. In the first half, Tennessee State leads 40 to 26. Freeman. Going to talk a long three attempt off the front iron. And Sharif Smith pushing the pace now. Kick it back, Duffus. Sharif Smith kicks it back around. Here's Kayshawn Charles. That's no good. Shot clock is off. John Brown bringing it up the floor. 40 to 26, Tennessee State. The final 10 seconds of the half. TSU holding for the last shot. Four seconds, three. Washington puts up an attempt and that's no good. We are at halftime and your score, Tennessee State 40. 
Eastern Illinois 26. We will be right back with your first half highlights. You're watching College. Well, Primetime is back Sunday through Wednesday, only on ESPN+. Plus. Started for free at Zola.com. Back here at the Gentry Center, campus of Tennessee State University. Tigers lead by 14 at the half. Time to go through our first half stats. And for TSU, they're spreading the wealth. Michael Little John is the leading scorer with nine. Carlos Marshall Jr. following with eight. Wesley Harris with seven. John Brown, Shaquem Johnson, and Emmanuel Egbuta all have four. And Mark Freeman and Ravel Moody rounded out with two. For Eastern Illinois, they are led by George Dixon with eight. Jaqualis Matlock and Max Smith both have six. Josiah Wallace with five, and Dondre Duffus with just one. The story of the day, TSU out-rebounding Eastern Illinois 18-16, to which leads into our keys to the game for Eastern Illinois. And it's simple, rebound, rebound, and rebound some more. Losing the rebounding battle by two, so far in the first half, TSU's length and athleticism has been a problem for the Panthers. First half, TSU shooting just 13 of 26 from the field, 6 of 14 from three. For Eastern Illinois, they're shooting just 30% from the field and four of 10 from the three, from the three point line going to do it for our first half stats. We'll take a quick break and come right back with the second half of this OVC opener. Tennessee State leads 40 to 26. You are watching college basketball right here on ESPN+. Plus. Excellence is our habit at Tennessee State University. Tell you, Doc. I mean, the OVC is just such a tough conference. So many good coaches and good players, and I just don't know if these guys understand the magnitude of what it's going to take to deserve to win each game. I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right, Doc? Doc, are you listening? Oh, sorry, Coach. Back on the floor. Second half about to get underway. You're watching college basketball right here on ESPN Plus. I understand that there are a few bowl games going on. 
We'll take a break from those and join us here at the Gentry Center. There is a supremely athletic basketball team playing a winning brand of basketball right now. And that's the TSU Tigers coached by Brian Penny Collins. If you don't know who he is, well, just know that's a talented young coach who rose through the ranks at the JUCO level and is now here in North Nashville leading this Tiger program. It's been a quick turnaround here. We'll be back after this. Come one, come all. And prepare. The Gentry Center gets set to start the second half. It'll be Mac Smith inbounding to Wallace. And off we go on the second second half. Nice screen by Dixon. Wallace trying to go around. Fouls called but no, no shot. Kim Johnson called for the foul. That is his third. Dixon, working the back, there's Smith, Wallace cutting, tries to get it up but it's not, it's taken away by Marshall, Freeman, thought about the three, pulls it away, Freeman finding Little John, Little John had three threes made in the first half, Ball deflected, but Johnson picks it up. Finds Freeman. Working to Johnson, and he is fouled. Foul called on Max Smith. That's his first, and here's Shaquem Johnson at the line for two. First free throw is good, and I have to comment on the free throw motion. Almost like a flick of the wrist type motion. He hits both free throws. So here's Wallace coming up the floor. Working it around. Here's Matlock. Dixon on the post in the post. Nice move underneath. Blocked by Agbuda. Here comes Freeman. Freeman going full speed and he's fouled. So Freeman is not fouled, excuse me. The ball goes out of play and they will inbound it. Marshall takes the inbound pass. Little John working it around the horn. There's Washington on the wing. Freeman. Driving, no. Trying to go underneath, but Wallace picks it up. They've got numbers. Here's Max Smith with the three.
Big time bucket from Max Smith. He's got nine. Freeman and Little John. Freeman. Five on the shot clock. Inside to Washington. And one, Jalen Washington. Gets the shot to fall while absorbing the contact and he will finish, hopefully, the three point play. Jalen Washington at the line. He is an almost 90% free throw shooter. And that's good. More importantly, no announcers, Jace. Because we all know that is a thing. Smith driving, going for the alley-oop, but it's taken away. Here's Freeman. Wings across court to Little John for three. That's off the back iron, no good. So here comes Sharif Smith. Buddha takes the ball away. And here's John Brown to Buddha. Buddha spins inside to Washington, goes up and under. That doesn't fall. So close, but yet so far. Wallace finds Smith on the other end. Dixon back to Max Smith, Sharif Smith. Going inside, and he's fouled. Michael Littlejohn called for the foul. That is his third. Smith hits the free throw, 45 to 30. Mac Smith. 90% free throw shooter, and it's good. TSU leads 45-31, under 17 minutes to go in the second half. Little John working on Smith. Getting a nice screen. Little John slips the, the defense. The shot is no good, but Wesley Harris' shot also no good. He gets his own rebound. The third shot's no good. He gets a fourth rebound, and the shot's blocked, but a foul is called. What a play by Wesley Harris, working hard on the glass, getting four offensive rebounds before being fouled. Harris good. I would love to see that again. Harris is good. Forty-seven thirty-one. Here's Smith. Wallace in the corner for three. That's good. Josiah Wallace.
Wesley Harris kicks out to John Brown. Brown drives, pulls up. Looking to get the bounce and does. John Brown gets the friendly roll. Wallace again for three. He's fouled. Timeout on the floor. 49-34, TSU in front. You are watching college basketball right here on ESPN+. Plus. Back in a moment. Your smile power with Delta Dental of Tennessee. Talk to your employer or visit CoverYourMouth.com today to learn more. Back here at Gentry Center. 49-34, TSU in front, but Josiah Wallace hits the free throw. Free throw attempt coming, number two upcoming. Worth noting, that's good. TSU 13 of 13 from the field. Here's Little John finding Jalen Washington who drives and scores. Jalen Washington. Tigers are over 50 points now. Smith finding Johnson. Johnson drives, that's good. Marvin Johnson, 51 to 39. Little John here, John Brown. Little John working down low to Harris. Harris pulls it back seven on the shot clock. Washington travels. TSU scoring about 75 points per game to the opponent's average of 70. Throw it up, and the alley-oop is missed by Matlock. Harris puts a three up. That is good. A five-point swing. Johnson kicks to Smith. Ball took him off the spot, but he's able to regain himself. Nice pass down low to Matlock. That shot altered. Marvin Johnson for three. Yes. 54-42. TSU in front. Under 14 to go. Little John driving. Dixon chases, and here we go. Johnson up. That shot's good off the glass. Marvin Johnson. And before, lead is 10. Harris at the on the block. That's no good. Max Smith rebounds. Here comes Sharif Smith. And a foul. So inbounding is Josiah Wallace. 
Little over 13 minutes to go in the half, in the game. TSU 54, Eastern Illinois 44. Looks like Eastern Illinois' coach having a conversation with the officials. Coach Jay Spoonhauer in his eighth season at the helm of the Panthers. So here we go. Matt Smith. Johnson. Pulling it back. Takes him off the bounce. There's an open mat lock for three. That's no good. Rebound, Brown. Brown pushing it to Johnson. He missed the dunk. Johnson takes the rebound. It's long. And blocked out of bounds by Wesley Harris. Great recovery on the missed dunk. Goodness gracious, that was a fun sequence. Wallace will inbound. Inbounded, here's Matlock. Johnson, close to the wing. The ball tip, picked up by Marshall. Nice spin move across midcourt. Mark Freeman, back to Marshall for three. Money. Carlos Marshall knocking down a three. TSU leads 57-44 as we come up on 12 minutes to go. And the ball's taken away and then taken back by Matlock. Johnson puts up a three. That's in and out and back in. The lead is 10. Freeman bringing it up the floor slowly. Double team looking for a way out. He finds a way out. It's Marshall. Marshall takes him off. Crosses him up, no good. Wallace gets the long rebound. Wallace will drive to the cup and he's fouled. So he will go to the line for two. Timeout on the floor. 57-47 TSU in front. You're watching OVC basketball right here on ESPN Plus. Stay out of this. Don't get in my head, man. There's barely room for me in there. Hurry in and try quarter pound double cheeseburger or crispy tender sandwich plus tots for $2.99. Back on the floor. 57 47 TSU in front. But Eastern Illinois is at the line. And Josiah Wallace with a chance for two more. First free throw attempt is good. Wallace has 12. Second free throw is good. It's an eight point lead for TSU. Little John gets it back to Freeman, who gets it back to Little John, cross court. High pass up to the block to Harris. Harris passes it out to Marshall. Marshall drives, loses the ball, but TSU will maintain possession. Freeman will inbound, lobs it to Harris. Kicks it out to Little John. 
Little John working. Finding Harris again for three. That's no good. Rebound. Jordan Skipper Brown. Here's Wallace. He's got 12 on the day. Looking for more. Pulls up. That's good. Josiah Wallace. And this lead is down to six. Quick pass. Down court. And Shaquem Johnson throws it down with two hands. Johnson's got eight. Wallace working, nearly loses his footing, but he picks it up. That shot rebounded by Matlock. That shot's no good, rebound by Dixon. Loose ball foul, and it calling it on Dixon. Here come the Tigers. They're up by eight. But Eastern Illinois is closing the gap. Coming up on 10 minutes to go. Freeman working. Looking for a lane. Shakes it himself, but the shot is no good. Wallace comes down with the board. He gets it across to Matlock. Smith works it inside to Dixon. Dixon working, goes with one hand, no. Rebound, Freeman. He's pushing. Cross court to Marshall in the corner for three. That is good. Carlos Marshall pushes the Tiger lead back to 11. Timeout, Eastern Illinois. It's a full timeout. We will be right back after this. You are watching OVC Basketball on ESPN+. Plus. ...are always ready to close. Unleash your smile power with Delta Dental of Tennessee. Talk to your employer or visit... Cover. Back on the floor, under nine and a half to go. Tennessee State leads by 11. Johnson drives and is fouled. Wesley Harris called for the foul, his third. So Marvin Johnson will inbound, looking for an opening, and there's Max Smith. That's good. He did not need much room. And the lead is down to nine. Freeman. Working around. Marshall drives. Shot no good. Rebound Johnson. That shot no good. Rebound George Dixon. And here come the Panthers. Wallace chased out by Johnson. There's an opening. He drives. No shot. The foul occurred before he attempted the shot. So Josiah Wallace at the free throw line again. First one good. He is seven of eight from the free throw line. Second attempt is good. It is a seven point lead. Harris back on the floor working. Puts it in Freeman's hands. Washington on the wing. Little John, you could have called a foul there, but nice over the head pass, but he's fouled. You, you could have called a foul there because it looked like Little John was grabbed.
Foul could have been called there, but again, a foul was called in the front on the tip. And Shaquem Johnson at the line to try to extend the Tiger lead. He gets the friendly bounce. Second attempt is good by Shaquem Johnson. He's got 10. 10 points for number 10 for TSU. It's a nine point Tiger lead as we come up on eight to go in the game. Marvin Johnson driving, working on Harris. Nearly lost the ball, but regained it. Now he drives right. Shot up, no good, but a foul. So Marvin Johnson at the line. Marvin Johnson, an 80% free throw shooter, and that shot is good. Johnson's got 12 on the day. Second shot is good. It's a seven point lead, eight minutes to go. Little John drives, kicks out to Freeman. He thought about the three. Decided against it. Now he works on Max Smith on the right wing. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Inside to Johnson. That shot is no good. Loose ball picked up by Dixon. The Panthers can cut deeper into this lead. Marvin Johnson at the top of the key. Ball batted away. Eastern Illinois will keep possession. Timeout on the floor. 64-57 TSU. You're watching with 200 pounds of digital weight. Whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like... Back on the floor. A score of note. SIU Edwardsville has beaten Belmont 79 to 69. SIU Edwardsville again. Beats Belmont, 79 to 69. Here's Max Smith with the jumper, no good. Rebound, Harris and Johnson, but Harris wins out. Seven minutes to go. Here's Freeman, Little John. Freeman for three. Off the back iron, no good, but the rebound went long and Freeman picked it up. Little John with the fake. Down low to Jalen Washington. That shot's no good. Dixon comes up with the rebound and gets it ahead to Sharif Smith, who drives. What a fake, but he traveled. His pivot foot moved just a bit too much. So here's Freeman, working on the ball. Gets it down on the wing to Harris. Freeman going cross court to Littlejohn. Inside to Egbuda. That ball tapped out of bounds. 
right into the hands of a fan on the baseline. That fan sort of looks like somebody I know. It lobs it to Egg Buddha. He is blocked. That ball tapped out of bounds. Whoa, the ball, they're saying it's SIU Edwards, the ball, but the side official comes in and says, no, it is TSU ball. We're going to need a replay on that. Side judge makes the call. And Little John puts up a three, and that falls to the bottom of the net. Michael Little John, his fourth three of the day. He's got 12 points all from long range. Marvin Johnson pulling it back. Under six to go. The lead is back to 10. Johnson nearly had the dunk, and he was fouled. What an effort. So Marvin Johnson at the line with a chance. And it's good. It's an eight point lead for TSU. Wesley Harris with the fake. Goes back to Little John. Freeman, 10 on the shot clock. Shaquem Johnson taken away by Wallace. They're pushing the pace. Drives, that shot no good. Matt Locke with the rebound. That shot blocked at the rim by Egbuda. Here comes Freeman. Long pass to Johnson, back to Harris for three. Money! Wesley Harris. The lead is back to 11 as we go under five minutes left. Wallace wings it around. Here's Dixon working on Johnson down low and one. He hits the shot and comes up limping. George Dixon. Now the line for two, but favoring his left ankle. And he has an opportunity. So here's Dixon at the line. 70% from the field. That one is good. The lead is back down to eight. So here's Freeman, bringing the ball up the floor. 70 to 62, TSU in front. Johnson drives, driving back around, kicks it back out to Little John. Little John for three. Another three for Michael Little John. Clutch shooting from the senior in this OVC opener. Wallace drives and got the bucket. Final media timeout. 
on the floor. Tennessee State leads 73 to 64. You are watching college basketball right here on ESPN+. Back on the floor. 73-64. Tennessee State in front. But the Tigers have the ball. And Michael Littlejohn will inbound. Little John has 15 points, all from long range. Freeman driving. Igbuta, what a play, but he missed, and the tip goes. Emmanuel Igbuta. The lead is up to 11. Wallace, long three, that's good. What an assassin stroke from Wallace. It's back to eight. Freeman, and taken away by Marvin Johnson. He's gonna drive, lay it up with the finger, and it's good. It's a six point game. Mark Freeman brings it up the floor. Coming up on three minutes to go in this game. Johnson. Nice backdoor pass to Little John. They get it to Freeman. Freeman drives the teardrop, no good. Jordan Skipper Brown with the rebound. Here's Marvin Johnson. Working his way around, trying to go up. That's no good. The tip, no good. Knocked out. And Freeman down. He went crashing hard into the scorer's table, but he appears to be okay. TSU will maintain possession. Mark Freeman bringing it up the floor. Little John working it around. Cross court to Marshall for three. Off the back iron, no good, but it comes out to Little John who puts up a three. And that's good. Michael Little John. Another three. 18 points all from downtown. And the lead is back to nine as we approach two minutes to go in the game. Wallace baseline, that's good. Josiah Wallace has been superb in the second half. He's got 24 time out Eastern Illinois. What a game this has turned into. The Tigers have four players in double figures. Little John with 18. Marshall with 14, Harris with 15, Shaquem Johnson with 10. Score of note, the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Tennessee rallies from a 22 to nine deficit to win 23 to 22. Here's Little John, under two minutes to go, back to Freeman. Now they are content with taking some time off the clock. In no hurry. 10 on the shot clock. Freeman will drive. Kick it out to Little John, another three, but he stepped out of bounds before the shot.
Wallace walking up the floor. He's got 24. What a no-look pass inside. Matt Locke will. Oh, and it rolls out. Whoa, Jaqualis Matlock had the easy bucket, but the fate said no. Freeman content with rolling more seconds off the shot clock as we approach one minute left. It's a seven point lead. This game could go either way based on this possession. Two on the shot clock, they lose the ball. It's a shot clock violation, and Penny Collins cannot believe it. A big possession for Eastern Illinois. They are down seven under a minute to go. An offensive foul is the call on Marvin Johnson. Tigers ball with 43 seconds remaining. Inbound to Marshall. Ball goes out, it's poked away. TSU will maintain possession. So Harris will inbound. Long inbound and Freeman picks it up. Working on Kayshawn Charles. Open lane, he kicks it out. He's content with working more time off the clock and Little John is fouled. Truly a heads up play by Mark Freeman recognizing the situation. Knowing that you don't need a bucket, what you need is to take more time off the clock. And they get it into the hands of Michael Littlejohn, who has been nothing short of superb today. Littlejohn, a 66% free throw shooter this season, has a chance to basically salt this game away. He missed, the he missed the free throw, and the door is still cracked for Eastern Illinois. Wallace for three. Unbelievable. Wallace with the three. The lead is down to four. Four, four starters on both teams in double figures with 22 Seconds to go. What a game this has been. Big time three from Michael Littlejohn, but a great heads up play by Mark Freeman. But Wallace came down and knocked down a three inside the eye of Harris. And that sets up where we are now, a four point lead with 22 seconds to go. Tennessee State with possession. One would think that Eastern Illinois is going to foul once the ball is inbounded. The shot clock is off. Carlos Marshall will inbound. Gets to Freeman and he is fouled immediately. A one and one for Mark Freeman, who is a 63% free throw shooter this season. The freshman out of Memphis, Tennessee. 
was a finalist for Mr. Football in high school, Mr. Basketball, excuse me, in high school. Mark Freeman, the other two finalists, Tyler Harris and Alex Lomax, are playing for Penny Hardaway at Memphis. Freeman is pay, playing for Penny Collins here in North Nashville. Free throw is good for Freeman. The lead is back to five. Second free throw is good. Not much time for Eastern Illinois. They have to push. Wallace will drive and take it himself. It's back to four. Harris with the ball. And he's fouled immediately. 29 points. For Josiah Wallace. Wesley Harris goes to the free throw line. The graduate transfer from West Virginia. Playing for Bob Huggins. Finishing his career in North Nashville and has a chance to finish this game with two free throws. That shot is good. Second free throw is good. It is a six point game. Eastern Illinois out of timeouts. In the game for the Tigers, Mark Freeman, Carlos Marshall, Wesley Harris, Shaquem Johnson, and Michael Littlejohn. 10 seconds left. Wallace, long three. That's good! Josiah Wallace knocks down a three, and we're not done yet. 32 for Josiah Wallace. These Panthers just won't go away. Mark Freeman back at the line. One free throw will ice the game. First free throw is good. Freeman with a chance to end the fun here. And that's good. Long pass, cross court. Wallace saves it. And it's knocked out of bounds. Eastern Illinois will keep possession. So Wallace will inbound. Three ball attempt for Max Smith. That's no good. And that is going to do it here at the Gentry Center. Your final score, Tennessee State 84, Eastern Illinois 79. The Tigers were led by the hot shooting of Michael Littlejohn, who finished with 18 points. Wesley Harris with 17, the leading scorer is Josiah Wallace with 32 points. But in the end, his heroics were not enough as the Tigers improved to 1-0 in the OVC. Next game will be on Saturday as they take on SIU Edwardsville. So for Angela Lewis, 
Nat Perry, our producer, and our fantastic crew, of which I am very thankful. This is CJ Ecke saying good night from the Gentry Center. Once again, your final score, Tennessee State 84, Eastern Illinois 79. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. We'll see you here at the Gentry Center on Saturday.